Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hey everybody, I'm out on a big boot run, of course. This time on the Bluestone Road that heads up Mount Anthony here in Bennington. And if you're ever in the Bennington area, I highly recommend you check out the Bluestone Road. It's one of my favorite places to run in the United States. And I've run all over, and this is like the bomb. Love this trail. It's an old carriage road for the mansion on the other side of Mount Anthony. And they maintain it for a cell tower that's now on top of the mountain. But it's um, off limits to all cars except a cell tower truck. And uh, it's really beautiful as it winds up the mountain with these old uh, rock bridges and whatnot. But anyway, I want to talk about the people that keep telling me that I'm undercarbed and if I only ate more carbs, my depression would just magically vanish. And I know you mean well. I do. I'm not upset with you. I'm not angry at you. But you have to realize something. You don't quite understand the psychology and the physiology of major depressive disorder, MDD. I don't consider myself to have a disorder, but if I were to go to a doctor and sit down and look at my symptoms and whatnot, they would say, you have major depressive disorder. I'm just a highly sensitive person who has a lot of stress in his life, who had a really traumatic childhood, and now I'm dealing with a brain that is wired a certain way that keeps triggering and tripping me up at the slightest little blow of the wind. But I've learned how to get around that. I've learned how to function after that triggering happens. I've learned how to get back up quickly after I get knocked down. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to keep getting knocked down. I will. That's just the way my brain is wired now. And I've learned how to deal with that and function inside of it. And the fact that I'm running today up a mountain, that's huge for me, okay? This analogy may help you understand depression a little bit better. Not sadness, but real depression. Imagine that you're sitting in your car in the driveway. It's an automatic and it's in gear. One foot is flooring the gas and the other foot is flooring the brake. You're absolutely revving that engine to its max at the same time that you've got your foot putting the brake pedal all the way to the floor. That is what major depression is. It's not a lack of activity. It's a massive full body and full mind stress response. A complete overwhelm, a complete red alert. Your entire body and mind is like, wee, 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 wee. And it just, it's not a lack of energy. The disability of depression is not from a lack of energy. It's trying to save your ass from the extreme amount of energy that is coursing through you from all of the stress hormones and that stress response that never gets turned off. And that's the foot on the brake. So it's not like, oh, I don't have any energy. If I just had some more carbohydrates, I'd have some more energy. No, I've got energy, man. I've got more energy than you can imagine. And it's killing me. So my brain is putting its foot on the brake and saying, we can't let this car out of the driveway. Because it's going to smash into something and it's going to cause massive destruction. So let's keep it disabled. Because he's going to do something really stupid. Depression is a safety mechanism. It saves your butt. It's like, okay, we're going to take you out of the world for a little bit because you can't handle it right now. There's too much going on. You're freaking out. So we're going to create a wall here. We're going to put our foot on the brake and we're just going to take you out, give you a little time out. And hopefully that stress response will go away and then you can reintroduce yourself into the community, into the world. But unfortunately, we live in a world where we are constantly surrounded by too much stress, too much data, too much stimuli of all kinds. So we don't get a chance to heal. And people keep telling us there's something wrong with us, that we're weak or we have low energy or we just need to cheer up or just get over it. Major depression is not a lack of energy or carbohydrates. Maybe a little bit of lethargy, yeah, some carbohydrates are going to help you, guaranteed. A little bit of sadness, yes, some carbohydrates going to produce a little dopamine, put you in a good mood, guaranteed. You're right. For a little bit of sadness, a little bit of lethargy, you're right. I'm not going to debate you on that because you're right. But for a major depression, you're wrong. Telling people with a major depression that all they need to do is carb the F up is dangerous and it's hurtful and it shames them. Okay? 
If you know anything about depression, you'll know that depressed people are already shaming themselves. They live in shame. And we don't need you to shame us from the outside. We've got plenty already, okay? So I know these messages are gonna keep coming in, just carb the F up, just eat some more carbs. Tim, you're under carb. Dude, you don't have a clue. Do some research before you give advice like that. People's lives are at stake. This is not a game. This is real life. And these are my people. And I care about them. And I will fight for them. I love you.